Welcome back to 2 Forward 2 Math. I am your host, Raphael Thompson. And today we will be looking at divisibility rules. And we'll be dealing with numbers from 2 to 12. So you'll be looking at all of the divisibility rules that you would need to know. And you may not need to know some of these, but just pick out the ones you need. And that would be helpful to you. So we'll begin with what is a divisibility rule? This is a quick way to see if a number can be divided by another number, or this is a way to determine if one number is a factor of another number. So that's what we're looking at when we're talking about divisibility rule. And you will have to determine the rule for the number two. These numbers can be divided by two. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 126, 482, 1,234. What is the rule? Why do I have those numbers highlighted in green? What is the rule for two? You determine it. You determine the rule for the number three. These numbers can be divided by three. 12, 36, 312, 2,433. And I have an arrow leading down. One, 12 is one plus two. 36, three plus six. 312 is three plus one plus two. Two, four, three, three is two plus four plus three plus three. What is the rule? You determine the rule for the number four. These numbers can be divided by four. 124, 216, 532, 1,024, 1,212, 30,220, 15,248. Why do they have those numbers highlighted in green? Once you know that answer, that would be what you would need to know for the rule. You determine the rule for the number five. These numbers can be divided by five. 120, 215, 530, 1,025, 1,010, 30,020, 15,045. What is the rule? Why do I have those numbers highlighted in green? Once you know that, then you know the rule. You determine the rule for the number six. And I have 12, 12 divided by two, and then 12 divided by three. They can be divided by two and three. 24 can be divided by two and three. 318 can be divided by 2 and 3. 324 can be divided by 2 and 3. What is the rule? Why do I have those divisions at the bottom? That would explain the rule. So you just tell me what it is. And we go on for the number 7. 175. I multiplied the 5 by the 2. We got 10. And then I subtracted that 10 from the 17. Did the same with 378. Multiplied the 8 by 2. Subtracted that answer from 37. Multiplied the 4 by 2. Subtracted that answer from 22. Multiplied the 1 by 2. Subtracted that from 51. There's a reason for doing that. And then, once you see what it is, you can state the rule. Now for 8. The numbers can be divided. These numbers can be divided by 8. For 1008, what I did is I have highlighted the three digits at the back. And in the next one, 4,248, I highlighted the three digits at the back. And notice I divided all of them by 8. And I was able to do it. So these numbers can all be divided by 8. So tell me the rule depending on what I did. And for the number 9, these numbers can be divided by 9. Notice what I did for 1008. I added the 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 8. Got 9. Added the 3 plus 2 plus 9 plus 4. Got 18. 5 plus 1 plus 3. I got 9. 7 plus 6 plus 9 plus 5. I got 27. Why do I add them? Why are those numbers significant that I added and got? You should be able to determine the rule. Now do it for 10. This is the easiest one. I will not help you for 10. This is too easy. This is baby stuff. So just look at it and give me the rule for 10. Brown. Straightforward. Very simple. Too easy. Got it? 11. These numbers can be divided by 11. Notice what I did. I subtracted the back digit from the front number. And once I got the answers there, those answers would help to tell you why uh, these are able to be divisible by 11. So look at what I did in each of them and give me an answer for the rule for the number 11. For the number 12, look what I did. I divided the numbers by 3 and by 4 and I was able to get an answer when I divided the numbers by 3 and by 4. So what is the rule for numbers that are divisible by 12? You can figure it out. Go ahead, get it done. This will be the last one. Now, you determine the rule for the number two. Yeah, here we go. These numbers can be divided by two. Yeah, why? Look at the last digit. Or look at the digit. The last digit is an even number. Even number, zero, two, four, six, eight. So once it ends with an even number, then it's divisible by two. Gotcha. Three. I added the digits in each number, and once I'm able to get a multiple of three, 
Then the number is divisible by 3. 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 plus 6 is 9. 3 plus 2 is 5. 1 is 6. 2 plus 4 is 6. And 3 9 is 12. So once it's, you add the digits and get a multiple of 3, it can be divided by 3. Now look at 4. 4, you look at the 2 back digits in the number and if they're divisible by 4, then the number is divisible by 4. The last two digits are divisible by 4. So look at the last two digits and if they're divisible by 4, then it's divisible by 4. You determine the rule for the number 5. This one is an easy one too. Once it ends with 0 or 5, the number is divisible by 5. Straightforward. 5 and 10 and 2. Straightforward ones. Okay, so once it ends with 0 or 5, it is divisible by 5. For a 6, the number is divisible by 2 and 3. So the number is able to be divided by 2 as well as by 3. And once that fits the number, the number is divisible by 6. So that's be able to be divided by 2 and 3. For 7, you double the last digit and subtract the answer from the front number. And if the answer is a multiple of 7, then the number is divisible by 7. So that's why I said 5 times 2 is 10, 70 take away 10 is 7, Brown. 8 times 2 is 16, 37 take away 16, 21. So it's a multiple of 7. 4 times 2 is 8, and 14 is a multiple of 7 as well. Okay, going on to number 8. The last three digits are divisible by 8. The last three, that's why I had them in green. The last three digits must be divisible by 8. And you said in 008, 248 is divisible by 8. 024 divisible by 8. 136 divisible by 8. And for 9, the sum of the digits is divisible by 9. So add up the digits. 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 8 is 9. 3 plus 2 plus 9 plus 4 is 18. That's a multiple of 9. 5 plus 1 plus 3 is 9. And then 7, 6, 9, and 5 is 27. That's a multiple of 9. So once you add the digits, you get a multiple of 9. It can be divisible by 9. 10, too easy. The last digit has to be 0. The last digit must be zero if the number is divisible by 10 and that one is straightforward let's create three work okay too simple for the number 10. 11 subtract the last digit from the front number and if the answer you get is a multiple of 11 then it's divisible by 11. so i subtracted 2 from 13 i got 11 that's straightforward subtracted 2 from 26 and got 4 from 26 and got 22 that's divisible by 11 and so on Okay, you can determine the rule for the number 12. Number 12, the number is divisible by 3 and 4. 3 and 4 must be able to be divided. The number must be able to be divided by 3 and 4. Then it's divisible by 12. So make sure you understand these. Let's practice. Which numbers are divisible by 2? You go ahead, choose your answers. Which numbers are divisible by 2? First one, and it's pretty simple, so you should be able to figure this one out. It's more than one number. Which numbers are divisible by two? Let's go on. The answer, 130 and 14,328. Why? You look at the numbers, you look at the digits at the back, it ends, must end with an even number. So 130 ends with zero, and 14,328 ends with eight. Zero is an even number, eight is an even number. Okay, let's practice again. Which numbers are divisible by three? Go ahead, get it done. Which numbers are divisible by three? You can do it, figure it out. Straightforward, once you remember the rule. Yes, the last two numbers, they must add to give you a multiple of three. So six and three, nine, 10, 15 is a multiple of three. And then the next one, 14,228, 5, 1, 5, 8, 8, 2, 10, 18. 18 is a multiple of 3. The first two numbers are not multiples of 3 when you add the digits. 130 is 4, 25 is 7. Okay, practice. Which numbers are divisible by 4? Remember the rule. See if you can apply it. Which numbers are divisible by 4? Go ahead, get it done. You should remember the rule. You should remember this one. Yes. The last two digits must be divisible by 4. So in 136, 36 is divisible by 4. In 14,228, 28 is divisible by 4. 25 is not. And 3,615, 15 is not divisible by 4. So look at the last two digits to make sure they're divisible by 4. Let's move on. Which numbers are divisible by 5? You should know this one. This is simple, like 10 and 2. This one is pretty simple. Which numbers are divisible by 5?
Got it. There we go. Yeah. For it to be divisible by 5, it must end with 0 or 5. So 130, 25, 3,615. 14,228 ends with an 8. So that's not divisible by 5. So those first three answers are the correct answers. Let's go. Which numbers are divisible by 6? And you have 732, 25, 3,615, and 14,228. Which numbers are divisible by 6? Work it out. Remember the rule. See if you can figure it out. Yeah, the first one and the last one. Divisible by 6. So the numbers must be divisible by, by 2 and 3. So right away, it has to have an even number at the back. So it has to be 732. And then they must add to give you a multiple of 3 in order for it to be divisible by 3. So those are the answers. Which numbers are divisible by 7? Remember the rule. So you can figure it out. Which numbers are divisible by 7? Remember what you have to do. Yeah, those three. You double the last number and you subtract it from the number at the front. So if you double zero, you get zero. The 14 at the front is that's, that's straightforward. That's divisible by 7. If you double 1, 1 times 2, you get 2. 6 you is 14, so that is. And then double 3, 2 to the 6. And dance for that 42, so that's divisible by 6. Okay, which numbers are divisible by 8? Remember what you have to look for, for it to be divisible by 8. Yeah, look at the last three digits. If they're divisible by 8, then the number is divisible by 8. So 13,240, 240 is divisible by 8. 25,264, 264 is divisible by 8. 14,064, 64 is divisible by 8. So those three are the answers. It can be 6, 38,615. Okay, let's practice which numbers are divisible by 9. See, remember what you have to do. Which numbers are divisible by 9? Yeah, those three. You add the digits up and see if they, you get a multiple of 9. So 180, you get 1 and 8 is 9. Uh, 253 is in 3 and 8. In 2 stand 50, 18, so that's divisible. 3,825, 86,328. You add that up, you get into 10, 19, 27. Now, which numbers are divisible by 10? Too simple. I cannot help you for this. It just won't be right. Which numbers are divisible by 10? See if you can figure it out. Put an answer. Let's go. Yeah, it must end with a zero. So the first three numbers were at the front where the numbers are divisible by 10. It can't be 14,225, there's a five at the back. So it must end, the last digit must be a zero. Got it? That's the easiest one. Now, which numbers are divisible by 11? See, so you can remember the rule. Work it, see what you get. There we go, yes, you must subtract the last digit from the numbers at the front. So zero take away 13, 13, not done. Uh, 47 is 45, not that. And it's 693 and 891, because 693 take away three is 666. So those two at the back of the answers. Which numbers are divisible by 12? So you can remember the rule and work it out. Which numbers are divisible by 12? And it's those two numbers. The, the numbers must be able to be divided by 3 and 4 for it to be divisible by 12. 3 and 4. So those two numbers are, are divisible by 3 and 4. And so they are also divisible by 12. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and you learned something. If you have an issue, go back, watch it again, and then practice on the test to make sure you're getting it correct. Remember, all of these divisibility rules you don't need. You need the basic ones. Thank you all for watching, and God willing, we'll see you in the next one.
that's a wrap.